Odoriko is the name given to the limited express train that connects Tokyo and the Izu region, famous for its beaches and hiking trails. The Odoriko comes in two different types. The standard Odoriko, which I am about to introduce to you, and the Safie Odoriko, which only features premium class seating. Today, I will be taking the Odoriko train from Shinagawa Station in Tokyo to Atami Station in Shizuoka Prefecture. The standard Odoriko trains are operated on E257 series trains. These trains used to run on the Chuo line as Azusa and Kaiji Limited Express trains, which head to Yamanashi and Nagano prefectures. These trains were reconfigured in 2020 to replace the older type 185 series trains. The seats have a nice turquoise colored design. This coloring pattern is supposed to represent the ocean surrounding the Izu Peninsula. With these buttons, you can adjust the reclining features of the seat. You can probably observe some weathering as these trains are not necessarily brand new. They have been in operation for about 20 years at this point. With the round button, you can lean further back into your seat, and with the rectangular one, you can slide your seat forward. There are also these lamps available above the seats. A green lamp indicates that the seat has already been reserved, and a red lamp indicates an unreserved seat. A yellow lamp indicates that the seat will be occupied in the following few stations. However, with less limited express trains with non-reserved seating nowadays, it might not be the most relevant function. Over here, I just want to give you a better view of the seats. These seats are very typical on the JR East network, with many trains featuring seats with a similar design. The Odoriko Limited Express is known for its speed. I have seen the Odoriko pass right in front of my face while waiting for another train, but its speed makes it quite intimidating, especially when you're close by. As we approach Odawara Station, you will be able to spot Mount Fuji in a couple spots. In 
right after Odawara Station, you'll be able to catch a glimpse of the Odawara Castle on the left-hand side. All in all, I would recommend finding a seat on the left-hand side of the train if you're heading westbound towards Izu, and the right-hand side if you're heading eastbound towards Tokyo. This is because you'll be able to enjoy a great view of the ocean, especially if the weather is nice. It only takes a little less than an hour and a half to reach Atami Station from Shinagawa. From Atami, the Odoriko usually splits into two segments. One segment will follow the Ito Line down the eastern coast of the Izu Peninsula, while the other segment heads towards Shizenji Station on the western side of Izu. I hope you enjoyed this trip on the Odoripo from Shinagawa to Atami. Make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you on my next trip. ご注意ください。